Welcome to that nerdy channel. I'm Lady Sports, and tonight we're playing Undertale. So let's get right into it. I saved. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, let's check out the bottom of Toriel's house. I think her name's Toriel. Terrible with names. Okay. It is dangerous to play here. I'm not... I'm not playing. Okay. Alright, so that's the end of the hallway. Oh look, the mirror actually... Mirrors. I can't think of the word for that, but look, it's doing its mirror thing. Mirror, 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 mirror. Room under renovations. Alright. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Now, is this the room I was given? I don't remember. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Ew. Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Ew. Uh, encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open into the middle typha a group of wetland flowers with brown oblong seed pods no more commonly as water sausages all right i forgot what the hell i'm supposed to be doing all right so that was the room i was given and then if we go this way we should find toriel and talk to our friend oh i can go up that way too Exit the remote. I have to do something. Stay here. And but for how long? Can I go back down to the dangerous place? Dangerous sounds fun. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. <coughs> <coughs> I can't do that, Toriel. You crazy goat. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Can't do that, goat lady. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Sorry. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Eh, bugger. Toyo blocks the way. Uh. I not think of any conversation topics. Ah! Ah! Sorry for those magical attack. Uh, knows best for you. Stop attacking me! I failed. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. I'm not gonna fight her! Just gonna keep talking to her, I guess. Oh, my HP's like two. Uh. Hey, 
yeah, I don't care. You keep saying the same thing. I thought it was worth a shot. It's acting aloof. Did I come again? Nope. Right here, damn it! I can't lose. What am I doing? I'm sparing you! Because I don't want to fight you. Attack or run away! I will not. I'm proving that I'm not going to fight you, but I'm not going to back down? No! You can't make me. No! I'm not gonna stop it. Not stop looking at you that way. I get that you care. You're probably lonely. So I'm not gonna fight you, but god damn it, I'm going into the underground. Oh look, a cat! Doing this if I should talk to her. Nope. All right, that's gonna keep sparing you. I know you want to go home, but please go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? It's what I do, lady. Please, go upstairs. No! Haha! -ha. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. <coughs> if you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. <coughs> That's a bit extreme. 
Bye. I don't know. She was willing to destroy this place so I couldn't go back. She was willing to fight me. And now she's like, don't come back. That makes no sense. Do, do, do. Walking down the lavender and kind of pink hallway. Oh, look, it's a flower. In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Ah. Uh -huh. Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. I don't like you, little flower. You're kind of a dick. Yeah. Stupid talking flower. And now the game truly begins. By that guy. Come on. Do a thing. Okay. So we're doing the walking thing. Side scroller walking thing. Come on. Do do do. That appears to be a stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Okay. Ignore that noise. And keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, a little bridge. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Oh, I don't really wanna. It's a skeleton in a sweatshirt. Hit <laughs> your whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. It was never funny. Never. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what, sup, bro? bro? Oh, sorry, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at the lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, and I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. 
I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Ew. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. I love that word. <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. No. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Oh, Sans, man. Ugh. I will tend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. ha 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 <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Yeah, I'm totally good, dude. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother ya, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Alright. It is very late, and I'm very tired, so we are going to stop here, even though this video is a little short. So, good night, and see you next time. Bye!